Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, we are in January, and yes, we welcomed in 2022 just about a month ago. But tomorrow, Tuesday, is the Chinese New Year. And if you really want to kick your year up a notch, why don't you try a little feng shui? So feng shui, which you'll hear it pronounced a few different ways. You might hear feng shui, feng shui, feng shui. We are, we are translating Chinese, but literally translated feng shui means wind and water. So we say that energy travels everywhere like the wind and then it settles like the water. And it's all about getting your home in rhythm and harmony with nature in terms of color and then mindfulness on how we place furniture and maybe where we add a little enhancement or two. And here there are subtle and sometimes not so subtle shifts and changes that take place with the annual energy. So we are currently transitioning from the year of the ox into the year of the tiger. Where do I need to fortify a little bit more for health this year? And we do. Or where can we tap into wealth? And there's definitely wealth to be made in the year of the tiger. So it's a little, little overview for you. In our home space environment, one of the easiest things that you can do, and I really recommend everybody do this every day, is first thing in the morning or after you've had your cup of coffee or tea or meditated or went to the gym, open the blinds, open the draperies and let the sun shine in. Of course, we all have houses that face in different directions and we have different levels of, you know, in quotients of light. But by opening up the blinds, opening up the draperies, letting the sun shine in, we're letting the vital life force come, energy come in to help give us a little bit of that um, energetic lift, if you will. All right, so I've grabbed my coins, I've got my oranges, I have my plants. In fact, I got a lot of plants around the house and my crystals. So where do I put them? Linda says there's a map for that. Well, it's called the Bagua map, and uh, Bagua is actually spelled P-A-Q-U-A. -A. It's the cornerstone and the building block, and it's the navigation that you would use to understand north, south, east, west, and then the four subdirections. North relates to career. Um, northeast relates to knowledge, education, research, travel. East is health and family. That's where the our morning sunshine is rising. The southeast is wealth and prosperity. South is fame and reputation and achievement and success. And Southwest is love and marriage in traditional circles and partnership or the female head of the household. West honors our children and our creativity. And the Northwest is helpful people and mentors and spirituality and the male heads of the household. That was a lot of information, but guess what? This is just the beginning. We will continue to give you some feng shui suggestions. Yes, go ahead and say that three times. We will continue to give you some energetic suggestions right here on AM Buffalo. For AM Buffalo, I'm Paula D'Amico. I oh, love so cool. all of that, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you can find out more about Linda's work as a certified feng shui pr practitioner here in Western New York on our website, fengshuiyourworld.com. That's really interesting. Yeah, I love it. 